We're excited to share some of the new features coming your way for the Spring 25 release. In this video, we're going to show how you can join collections using Transform Elements in Flow Builder. Now you can combine collections from related flow resources into one target collection, pulled from an external system with Salesforce. This gives you a data structure that is displayed in a customizable data table. For example, you might want to display all of your escalated cases and see the stage of each opportunity in your source collection. Let's see it in action. It all starts with creating a new flow in Flow Builder, then creating an auto-launched flow. Here, we're going to use the case and opportunity objects. Then we'll incorporate the transform element. We're going to use the get record element here. We'll label it get case details. And the object will be case. For our example here, the status of the case is escalated. Let's add some additional conditions. We'll want to search for all of the records. Leave the other settings as is. Next, we need to add the opportunity object. So we'll use the get record element again. This time we'll label it get opportunity detail. And select opportunity from the dropdown. We'll add stage name as the field, then equals and add negotiation slash review for the value. We'll add the same conditions as before. And search for all records again. Now let's add our transform element, which we'll label transform case and opportunity details. Here, we have our source and target data. For source data, let's search for case details and opportunity details and add them from the source data dropdown. Now let's look at this Apex class used to create an Apex defined variable. This will display the information of our query case number. Priority, Subject, Opportunity, and Amount. For target data, we're going to choose Apex defined as our data type. Select the Allow Multiple Variables checkbox. For the Apex class, we'll select Get Details and click Create. Now, we map between the source and target data by clicking the Source button and connecting it to the target. When we click on the next source, we'll see the option to join them. For the join type, we see inner join is selected. For both the left source collection and right source collection, we'll choose account ID. Next, we'll click select fields and choose our case details. We'll check case number, priority, and subject. For opportunities, we'll check amount and name. Then, we'll click Set Fields. Now that we have the fields from the sources, we're going to join our fields. Under Join Fields Mapping, we'll click Select Joined Field Mappings. Under Selected Target Collections, we'll select the following target fields. Case Number. Priority, Subject, Amount, and Opportunity Name. Click Set Mappings. Then we'll save the flow and name it. We'll call this one Transform Data, then save it. To see what the output looks like, we'll click Debug, then Run. After debugging, we can click through the case details, opportunity details, 
and inspect the transform element we use to join these datasets. That's it. To learn more about hundreds of new Salesforce features, see the Spring 25 release notes linked in the description below. You can also check out help.salesforce.com or come join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.